okay so now let us look at an interesting example which involves supplementary angles so let's go through the example among two supplementary angles the measure of the larger angle is 44 degrees more than the measure of the smaller find their measures now again we are given one information and we'll try to create algebraic equations using them and solve the problem right so let us first assume what are the two angles now we don't know the angles and as we have done in this chapter we have just continued using two example uh, two angles angle x and angle y so I'm still following that convention saying that let angle X and angle Y be two supplementary angles okay supplementary angles and what we want to do is to find out their measures now we are given first the measure of the larger angle is 44 degrees more than the measure of the smaller let's say that angle X is the larger of the two angles right therefore angle X is the larger therefore angle Y is going to be the smaller and we know that the measure of angle X is angle Y plus 44 degrees this is our first equation right this is this is what comes from the problem here now we also know that these two are supplementary angles and when two angles are supplementary we know that their sums must be equal to 180 degrees so this is our second equation now we can proceed ahead to find out the solution of this equation and find out x and y both now if you see here we have angle x represented in terms of angle y right so we can substitute the value of angle x as angle y plus 44 as is given in the problem so we have angle y plus 44 plus angle y equals 180 degrees this is angle y now when we solve this we get twice of angle y plus 44 degrees equals 180 degrees now this is an algebraic equation and we transpose this 44 degrees from the left hand side towards the right hand side so we will have twice of angle y equals 180 degrees minus 44 degrees now when we perform the subtraction right so we get 10 minus 4 is 6 8 becomes 7 so 7 minus 4 is 3 and 1 minus 0 is 1 so we have 136 degrees so twice of angle y is 136 degrees right now we need to find out angle y and we can do that by dividing both the sides by 2 so we can say that angle y twice of angle y divided by 2 equals 136 divided by 2 so this gets cancelled out and this becomes 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 8 is 16 so we have 68 degrees angle Y is 68 degrees now this is the acute angle acute angle and it is the smaller amongst the two right if you remember that in order to make a supplementary pair we need one acute angle and we need one obtuse angle but we also have equation one over here which says angle x which is the larger angle is actually 44 degrees more than angle y so we can find out angle x by just adding 68 degrees plus 44 degrees and when we add this 4 plus 8 is 12 6 plus 4 is 10 and 1 11 so we have 112 degrees so angle X is 112 degrees now if we add angle X plus angle Y that is 112 degrees plus 68 degrees you would find out 
that this sum comes out to be 180 degrees right so that is how we find out the values of angle y and angle x so this was an interesting problem something similar along what we did for the complementary angles in the next video we are going to learn about adjacent angles